The war between viruses and bacteria is one of the oldest battles in the history of life. It began around 3.5 to 3.8 billion years ago, not long after the first single-celled life appeared on Earth. As soon as simple cells evolved, probably the earliest forms of bacteria, nature gave rise to viruses, genetic parasites that couldn't live on their own but could hijack the machinery of living cells to multiply. Since then, viruses have been attacking bacteria continuously in a microscopic war for survival. This is not just ancient history, it's still happening today. In fact, all complex life forms, including us, are made of combinations of bacterial origin cells. Around 2 billion years ago, one bacterium engulfed another and instead of digesting it, they formed a permanent partnership. That internal bacterium evolved into the mitochondria, the energy-producing engines of our cells. This symbiosis, called endosymbiosis, is the foundation of all eukaryotic life, including animals, plants, and fungi. So, in a very real sense, every cell in our body still carries the legacy of ancient bacteria and these cells are still vulnerable to virus-like attacks. Every single cell in our body is a part of that evolutionary legacy, still facing threats that began billions of years ago. When a virus attacks a bacterium, it often uses a method called the lytic cycle. The virus, known as a bacteriophage, attaches to the bacterium and injects its DNA inside. The viral DNA takes over the bacterial machinery, forcing it to stop its normal function and start producing viral parts. These parts are assembled into new viruses inside the host cell. Then comes the final blow, the bacterium bursts open in a process called lysis, releasing dozens or hundreds of new viruses, ready to infect others. This lytic cycle evolved naturally in this ancient war, but now it's being used as a weapon by modern science. Many bacteria today have become resistant to antibiotics, making them harder to kill with medicine. But viruses that naturally infect bacteria could be the answer. At Yale University, Indian scientist Dr. Jayatantani from Ahmedabad, Gujarat, is part of a research team working to advance the science of targeting specific bacteria that have developed antimicrobial resistance, a major threat where infections no longer respond to conventional antibiotics. Their approach is based on the natural lytic cycle, using bacteriophages to infect and destroy these resistant bacteria. Instead of fighting life with chemicals, this method uses one form of life to defeat another, just as nature has done since the very beginning.